Brew Tube. We're back with more swill beer. Mmm, gotta love swill beer, guys. If you remember, all of you guys who were bagging on us because we gave a bad review to Nanny Boo. That's right, Juan. You didn't like us because we said we didn't like the Nanny, Nanny Boo. No, we do like it for beer can chicken. That works well. Yes, it I works re well. highly recommend it. Yes. Damn good chicken. Yes, and especially the tall boys. So we decided we're going to give it another shot. And what are we giving it a shot with? We're giving it a shot with National Premium, which was before. Look at that cat. Looks like the Monopoly man, just with a German hat instead of a top hat. Yes, it's another one-eyed freaky guy, but with no mustache and an odd angular nose and German-esque hat. And a um, monocle. And a monocle, yes. <sighs> anyway, so... Colonel Klink. Colonel Klink, Please. yes. National Premium was the premium brand from National Brewing of... <laughs> of... Natty Bo. And there's some ducks in your house. <laughs> exactly, we gotta get rid of them. But um, how much did, wasn't the Natty Bo like less expensive or something than the National Premium yeah, back in the day? Yeah, supposedly back in the day, Natty Bo was 10 cents. National Premium was 15 cents. That's the premium. They got yes. a little more. For what? We don't know. We'll you know, find out. What happened, they tried to revive this beer in the 80s, Paps or whatever, when they were going on a nostalgia craze. Didn't happen came back and a guy named Tim Miller from Easton, Maryland, the Eastern Shore, and he said, I like that burgers and we're gonna buy this. And he, he basically bought the recipe and brought it back and now Fordham Brewery, who's also Dominion, is brewing this for him on the Eastern Shore in Delaware. So, let's pop a cap on this bad boy. You wanna do the other thing? Man, really? <laughs> don't. It's a twist off, but we don't do twist offs. <laughs> Sorry. So. You can pour. Yes, I've got this at 38 degrees. That's it. it says on the back it's in a brown bottle to protect it from the light, which that's good. Now, before we get into this, label is cool. And also, look at this, guys, right on the back. Got the date right there. It says 6-12-12. And today's what, the? 6-30-12. So, if this beer sucks, we bought it as fresh as possible. You're not going to get it out of, the, out of the plant any fresher than this. This was just delivered off the truck when I pulled this one. So, we're giving it the fairest shot as possible. And they said you should drink it at 38 degrees to serve best. Usually that means they want you to drink it really cold so you can't taste it. So it freezes your taste buds off. But let's give it a shot and say, I'll fill your glass first, Johnny. Since what? you're the guest tonight. Yeah, much pleasure. Mm. Oh, yes. Well, it looks like the Corona and Sol and Modelo we drank earlier tonight. Yes. Mm. Oh, adjunct lager. Mm. You're kidding. <laughs> Look at that great head development. I tell you. It oh wait, I don't. I don't want to cheat you. Let me let it settle down here a little Let's bit. Let's see if the bottle cap stays on top of the head. Uh, uh, it's it's not, doing not it. It's not bad. Yeah. Fluffy white soapy kind of head. It dis it's dissipating pretty quickly. There's a boatload of. Let me give you a little more. Oh, of course. I don't want you to feel slighted. <laughs> don't want to feel slighted at all. No. It's not skunky. I'll give it that. It is not skunky. Now, Dominion, Fordham, Fordham Dominion brewed this. So apparently they're into making some adjunct lagers now. It says it's made with the finest grains. Do you have any salt, pepper, and some butter? Why is that? I think I'm going to drink some corn on the cob. Mmm. So apparently now Fordham is brewing with those our friends adjunct lagers, and that's what they're talking about, their quality grains. So they went out in the field and got them some good corn and okay, rice. There's a lot of corn down there in Delaware. Let's see. Well, it's got that metallic adjunct lager smell to it. As Johnny said, man, it it's it's like sniffing a bottle of high fructose corn syrup. I still have head on mine. I guess it's settled down to swirl mine head. off. There's a lot of carbonation. <laughs> yeah, this is this. Is, I'm sure this is artificial carbonation. Ain't no bottle conditioning. Lots of active bubbles. And as you can see, it's that nice adjunct lager mm, midday urine color. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You yes. didn't take the sound of the toilet earlier, did AKA you? AKA Pichel. Let's, let's give it a try, Johnny. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not as foul as Natty Bell. It's five cents better. Five cents. <laughs> and actually, you know what? I think this it does taste better than the Corona and Modelo that we had. It tastes like the soul. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? 
So if you like Soul, you'll like this. Hmm. I mean, what can I say, guys? An adjunct logger is an adjunct logger. Once you get it to a certain point and you're in that macro brew style recipe, it's just not going to change. It's going to be the same. Now, let's get into cost. This is cheap. A six pack of this is like, I think, between $5.99 plus tax and $7.99 plus tax where you got it. I was luckily able to buy a single. I don't know about luckily, but I purchased a single for $1.49 plus the egregious 9% Maryland sales tax. I think you paid five cents more than you should have. <laughs> you're down there pretty good. You must like it or you're just trying to get, a, get rid of it. <laughs> I get an option too. Let, let me give it another taste here. You know what? I think Beer Geek Dude would try to do this. No, probably not. Uh, some of the other beer reviewers wouldn't review these, but we're we're tough. We take one for the team. Um, what do I think about this? There's not much to it. If it's a really hot day, like it was a freaking 108 yesterday in Baltimore, literally, um, I would enjoy this more than a Natty Bow, and I do like it more than Budweiser, but I swear right now, I'm not going to go out and buy it. I'm not going to go out and buy it. It's but five cents too expensive. The, the the aftertaste in my mouth is like I just ate tortilla chips, really. Yeah. It's not skunky. Can okay. you guacamole or salsa with it? Yeah. You know what? Maybe a lime would actually do this one better. But like Corona. Yeah, like Corona. Yeah. But so what are we going to rate this? It's got a good date on the bottle. Right here, nice and clear. It does. Really freshness, good packaging. Freshness, I do have to say. I mean, it it's, tastes like a fresh beer. It yeah. hasn't been sitting there, but it's not skunked at all. It's the aroma is not super off-putting. No, it, it smells like corn on the cob. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's just a it's just a meh beer. I mean, I'm not gonna really I, maybe he will, but I'm not gonna really super hardcore bag on it because it's not it's not. I mean, Natty Bow was ta it was offensive tasting. You know, it's just, even in the can, it was just foul. This, you know what, if it was the only, only thing around and I was really jonesing for a beer, I'd drink it. So that, for that, That's I'm December gonna... 23rd, 2012. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> There's no more beer and no more people except for DJ. Yes. Except for bring. I, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a C. I'm gonna, I'll I'm, give it a C minus. C just minus. Just to be nice, because it was fresh. It was fresh. So I guess I need to finish the rest of this, right? Here you can. Oh, I finished the rest of mine. I guess I won't be able to get. It. I could probably break my arm if I don't. Should I pour it in your glass for Hell some more? No. Oh, uh, all right, guys. It is drinkable, and it does give me nostalgia of chugging in college. College memories do come back. Oh God, I hate that kind of carbonation. But, yeah. anyways, guys, if you want. Give it a try. If you like this, great. Let us know if you like it. If you think we're being, you know, crazy beer geeks and we shouldn't be bagging on it, tell us too. We'll, we'll give you, a, we'll conversate with you. But I'm, I am drinking local, so like I always say, guys, remember, think globally. Don't drink, drink macro locally. No, not macro, <laughs> macro locally. Uh, 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 think globally. Drink locally. Just it's maybe not screwed, this. Screwed up your head. And remember, let's support the craft beer movement. This beer. Ain't too crafty if you ask me, but that's all I got for you today. Go O's. Go O's. They lost again today. They lost again, but they won yesterday. Yeah, they did. So, anyways, guys, peace out. See ya.